So after a lot of my previous cleaning posts, I went ahead and bought myself a little cube timer so I'm not cleaning, 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 and then worn out to sew. And hopefully this will help kind of kickstart it in. So I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes and see if I can get some of my scraps that have been on the floor since the beginning of January into their bins. So fingers crossed. I found these which are partial leftovers from a baby quilt that I made a good friend of mine a couple years ago and so um, I guess I'm gonna make some baby quilts out of these so that we have them as um, ready to go but look how cute this fabric is oh it's so cute so I'm gonna sew these together and make some baby quilts see how many I can get maybe two we'll see so I made this twister quilt last week for a class that I taught and now I need to put some borders on it. So I've got my border fabric. And if you're looking at this and going, that looks really familiar. Where have I seen this fabric before? Let me show you where you've seen this fabric before. It's from this quilt. So my mom had this layer cake and I needed to make a sample. And I debated going, do I just sew random fabric together? Because obviously I could do that. But I feel like that might have taken a little more brain power. But she had this layer cake that she bought and intended to make a twister quilt for my aunt. And now I made the twister quilt for my aunt. And so I've got the border fabric and I want to cut this into strips. It's going to be about a six inch border going all the way around. And then I'll have to figure out, I'll have to figure out, then I'm going to have my mom figure out what color backing and by what color backing, what color minky to put on the back. So then we can quilt this up next week. So that is what's happening today. I'm going to go ahead and put some borders, get them all cut, and then we'll be ready to party. So I'm putting binding on this Minky backed quilt. Look at this cute with this embossed luxe cuddle. Oh, it's so cute. But I'm using my walking foot. I got it for Christmas, not last year, but at least the year before um, because mine broke and I had just taken it out of the box this weekend to use it. Like, I don't know how I've gotten so far without using my walking foot, but it's probably because of this beast, let's be honest. So I'm gonna finish this binding and see if I can get those borders put on.
So now the borders are on the twister quilt and I just have to quilt it and bind it now. So it'll be going with me to work next week so we can figure out what to get for the backing, what to get for the binding. But overall, I think it turned out pretty great. So I figured I'd end this little video with a little peek at how our 5K went and well, it went. So we walked the whole thing, my husband and I and my mom and my younger brother and a couple other people. Um, and so my older brother designed t-shirt logo for all of us that went and did it. There are probably in total about 20 people that did the 5k and, um, that includes my dad's three brothers that did the half marathon. His twin brother, um, took first place in his category and then his two other brothers took third, tied for third. And so it was a lot of fun. It was a uh, early morning, but we did it. And so here's a little peek at how our 5K views went. You don't really see much of us doing anything besides sauntering along and crossing the finish line, but we did it. We are this last two to cross the finish line for the 5K, but we did it. We lived to tell the tale and then we went home and took a nap afterwards.